So let us take a look at how the removal of the Sir John A. Macdonald statue in Victoria played out in the polls with Angus Reid and in the media. Angus Reid polling company conducted a survey related to the removal of the Sir John A. Macdonald statue in Victoria and they came up with this headline. In debate over the first PM's legacy, vast majority say Sir John A. Macdonald's name image should stay in public view. So before we take a closer look at the, the actual poll, can you think of some questions that might help you understand the survey result? Pause the video, maybe jot some down, and then we'll move on. So hopefully you have some of the questions that overlap with this list here. Uh, we can ask lots of questions about that survey um, to, to maybe clarify how that result was was arrived at. We're going to concentrate on answering just a couple of these questions uh, in the analysis of the poll results. So Angus Reid decided that the the population for this question was all Canadians. So they did not limit it to Victorians or even to British Columbians and we have to specify that they were adults. Now, what was the sample? The link, um, you can always find the link to the table that tells you what the sample looked like at the bottom of the Angus Reid report. So there were 15, about 1,500 people that were sampled. There was a spread again across the provinces, but notice there was none in the north. Um, there was an equal split between males and females. There was a distribution according to age, according to income, and according to education. So let us take a look at one specific question that was asked as part of the Angus Reid poll. And I'm going to read along with you here. As you may know, a statue of Canada's first Prime Minister, John A. Macdonald, was recently removed from the grounds of Victoria, B.C.'s City Hall. The city says it removed the statue as a gesture of reconciliation to local First Nations because Macdonald oversaw the establishment of the first residential schools in the country. And based on what you have read, seen or heard about this issue, do you support or oppose the removal of the statue of Sir John A. Macdonald from City Hall in Victoria? And then there's five options, including uh, one of them saying they can't, you, you don't know anything about the topic at all or are not sure. So they, the Angus Reid poll gives a little bit of context here before asking their uh, pollsters to, to answer the question. So let's take a look at the poll results for that one question that we had just read through together. A couple of things to, I want you to notice is that the, the, all the provinces are represented here, or all the provinces except for the territories, um, the Northern Territories. Uh, even though it is a very local issue and uh, the highest oppo opposition is in Saskatchewan and Ontario and Alberta so they are very far removed from from Victoria and still have a very strong opinion M makes you wonder how much um, how much it was in the media uh, this issue was in the media in that part of the country uh, the, the actual headline for the Angus Reid poll result came from this result right here, 55% oppose, and I will assume that's oppose and strongly oppose, so those two categories, versus support and somewhat support for 25%. Notice that's 80%. Uh, where did the other 20% go? Well, 20% obviously could not say. That was the, the last option on the survey, and um, that is not included in the bar graph. So there's um, the, the question is quite clear, but I would say that the display of the results is missing some, some important information uh, about, about the poll results. So the context or the background that is given before somebody answers a online poll or a poll question has a lot to do with how they're going to answer. So I want to challenge ourselves to think about what would the result be 
of that question that we had analyzed in the last slide. If it had started with this quote, and this quote is a from Sir John A. Macdonald himself. I'm going to read it with you. When the school is on the reserve, the child lives with its parents, who are savages, and though he may learn to read and write, his habits and training mode of thought are Indian. He is simply a savage who can read and write. It has been strongly impressed upon myself as head of the department that Indian children should be withdrawn as much as possible from their parental influence. And the only way to do that would be to put them in central training industrial schools where they will acquire the habits and modes of thought of white men. Now, after that quote, if you were asked the exact same question, based on this quote, do you support or oppose the removal of statue of Sir John Macdonald from City Hall in Victoria? Do you think the answer would have been the same? 